first things first, I just want to let you guys know I am a complete makeup junkie. Like, truthfully, like, okay, so I went to the mall today. I was only going to buy me some Uggs real quick. And then I was like, you know what? I got a little extra cash left over. So I thought my Uggs were going to be a little bit more expensive. I was like, mm, I got a little cash left over. So let me go and buy me some quick makeup, right? Boom. So I went into Morphe. And of course, like the true crackhead that I am, I went in there and I overspent. It was very much unnecessary and I very much walked out there, walked out of the store, um, not feeling guilty at all. I felt very fulfilled um, and proud of myself. So yeah, whatever. Boom. So Morphe was having a crazy sales today and I was super excited about it because you know, they had like a whole bunch of stuff and that's what they got me. It's like when they do them little sales, that's how they get you. When you thinking that, you know, oh no, it's not going to be that much. Oh, I'm just going to go in and get like two things. I'll be all right. No, boom. That's when they hit you with a sale and they're like, oh yeah, bitch, $5 for this, $8 for this, $4 for this. And then in your mind, you're like, oh my God, $8, $4, that's going to be cheap as the fuck. Like I'm going to spend only like $40. Like that's not that bad. So that's actually not what happened. I got in there and I actually spent $70, um, really like $73 and change, but whatever, who's counting? Um, and yeah, so I got in there and I, and I cut up, I, I really cut up. I didn't, I didn't have to cut up like that, but I did. And I'm glad that I did. I don't regret it. So mm, whatever. So we're going to start with Morphe Avani Greg. So this is for the Bebs. I don't really know who Avani Greg is, um, but you know, I'm excited to try her stuff and maybe I'll like look at her YouTube and stuff like that and see what she has. But um, this is really exciting. I love this. So here's the palette. So at the top you have all of the shadows and at the bottom are the wet liners. So basically you just wet your brush and you go ahead and you, you do it. So next what we're gonna go into is, um, I bought 8D Deep Glam Complexion Pro Face Palette. So basically, like I said, everything was like $8, $9. They're having a wholesale. So if you want to go to uh, Morphe, please stop by your nearest Morphe and get popping in there. Because, like, they got a sale. And I don't know how much longer it's going to last. But I suggest you go ahead and you get into it. So I have bought this palette because... It has eight shades for your complexion obsession. Take your looks to the next level with this palette that features a matte brightener, matte contour, two bronzers, two blush, and a two and two totally lit highlighter formulas. A creamy powder plus a silk slip topper. Each shade is perfect for a deep for deep to very deep skin tones. So basically, I bought it because, of course, I'm in the season of me trying new things. I want to try out different stuff. And yeah, so I'm not really into um, uh, blush. I'm really not into it. Like, I, I, I don't know why. I'm just like not a fan of it. And everybody seems to love blush. And I'm just like, hmm. I don't know I just feel like it's just not for me like I just don't I don't blush naturally so why am I blushing now like you know what I'm saying so it's just like whatever so I wind up buying it or whatever so it has like you know the bron the brightener the two bronzes the contour the blushes and the highlight so I don't think I'm gonna be using the brightener because I like my setting powder which is by um, Laura Mercier in deep um, but I bought it because I like the highlight and I wanted to really try the blush. So I'm going to take some swatches. So this is what the palette looks like. Very cute. So down here, the highlights, these are the blushes, contour, um, bronzers and high in the brightener. So, boom. Next we have, um, the Morphe lipstick. So it is a liquid lipstick matte, um, matte finish. So basically, I got it in the color Bloodshot. It's a red. And like I said, y'all, I you know, I don't like red. Like, I'm really not into it. Like, I'm not excited about red at all because it's just not my color. You know what I'm saying? Like, I used to, like, don't get me wrong. I used to have Ruby Woo in, um, in high school. And you know how everybody used to be fiending over Ruby Woo from back? Like, oh, my God, y'all is fiending. So I like that one. But... You know, I just, I felt like, you know, red wasn't my color after a while. Like, it wasn't given what it was supposed to give. So, I decided to stop wearing reds. Um, so, this, make, uh, this, like, lipstick is long-wearing, kiss-proof. 
Love that because listen, you know how when your man try to lean in for a kiss, you like, what is you, what is you doing? Like, Mister, I my makeup is dead. Like, don't try to mess up the look and what's happening here. Like, you really, it's giving hater vibes. Like, back up off me, sir. I have the Hydra FX. Now I told you um, I love Suva, and these are really nice. Um, uh, wet liners so basically you just wet your brush you kind of like put your, your you know your wet brush in there it's like watercolors and you just like glide it on super easy and um the hydro effects i love it because like they're neon and they glow in the dark so when you're under the uv lights it looks really popping it's so, like you know how when you go to the club like if you want a little pop of color like to really like make it like wow like this is cool like the hydro fx is really good super is really good for that so i got this in um a color called acid trip it's kind of like an orange very very beautiful it's called acid trip lovely so i'm excited to try zait now i don't know if y'all know but i will live and die by urban decay setting uh, setting spray so i went into morphe today and i heard about their setting spray so i thought like you know you know what why not give it a try i've heard very good things on youtube and also from another um makeup artist that when i was working on set you know i got to ask you a question she was doing you know makeup for a very long time and the makeup that she did for the client looked amazing and her makeup looked great and you know of course you know just chit chatting and stuff like that so I asked her and I was like, hey, what kind of setting sprays do you use? Like, what do you like? And she was like, well, you know, to be honest with you, I think Morphe has a really great setting spray. Because originally I had asked her about this translucent, um, no color uh, setting powder that I have from RCMA. And I love to use that on the inside. You'll see me use it. But um, yeah, I had asked her about this originally and that's how it kind of like kicked off our conversation about the makeup. So normally, you know, she told me that basically the Morphe was really, really good and it has a great matte finish and it's it's like a to die for type of piece. So I was like, all right, cool, girl. So I normally use, I, I tell you, live and die by Urban Decay's All Nighter Ultra Matte. Like when I tell you this stuff is holy grail, like it is holy grail, girl. Like I'm telling you, like, you know how when... You go to the club, right? You go to the club, and you in there, you in there popping. Eh, eh, eh. Hennessy is flowing. Eh, eh, eh. Y'all outside, right? You know what I'm saying? Y'all outside right now. So, you know, by the end of the night, you know, at some point, the, the club lights come on. Now, I know it's a shame you should not be in the club until the lights come on. Like, that is some real, like, drunk shit, whatever. But, at some point, the lights usually flash. You know how, like, when... The cameras is rolling by and they got the flash and stuff like that. Bitches be kind of like ducking this shit because they know like they shit is melting off. Bitch, I be like. Surface, bitch. Surface because you're not. This makeup is not going nowhere. It is here to stay, hunty. Also, it goes great with the D-Slick. It's an oil control setting spray. So I usually like when I'm before I do my makeup and I do my primer, I do the, the oil control and I'll do it again when my makeup is finished. But this goes great too, right? And I'm gonna talk about that in a second. But girl, when I tell you this shit here is like holy grail, like I do not be playing. Like when I tell you I come out of the spot looking flawless still, like I walked in looking mad good and I left looking mad good, like girl it is it but now i'm really excited to try this morphe one so it is a mattifying continuous setting mist so basically continuous meaning that when you spray it you could just keep on holding it and keep on going like this whereas this one you gotta be like shh, 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 but whatever you know that's cool that's just a little difference but i'm excited to see how this one works and how it really sets it in because like i have oily skin like i have my t-zone i have combination so my t-zone is really oily out here gets kind of dry and i need something to keep that under control because like ew why is your nose shining like that girl like no get that together you know what i'm saying right so now let's move on to the fact that i went to sephora so like i said i'm a crackhead for makeup i need help send help you guys like i really need it apparently they came out with a new formula and i'm like oh my god like now i gotta buy it like i was only going in for one thing and now here i am walking out with another foundation like i truly don't need another foundation but i'm gonna do it anyways because like i said i'm a crackhead so cool so now Too faced has born this way matte 
okay? Matte, honey, matte. Everything is matte, cause oily skin, matte. It needs to be matte, okay? So, this one is Born This Way Matte, oil-free, oil-controlling, waterproof, transfer-resistant. Okay, now that is serious shit. Transfer-resistant like that is serious because when, you know how like when you go to hug somebody if they wear white or something like that, and you be like, oh, you try to hug them like that because you don't really want to get your makeup on them. Apparently, this is transfer-resistant, so it's not going to really like get on nobody's stuff. I mean, you can take your chances if you want to, but... Mm. Yeah, that's what the box says. I'm just here to give the people what the people told me. So this one is 24 hours, undetectable, super long wear foundation. I love that, love that, love that. So I got this in the color Sable, which is a shade darker than the Tiramisu. So Tiramisu, like I said, is my winter color because you know you're a little bit darker in the summertime with your tan and stuff like that. But Tiramisu is my winter color. But the thing about the Tiramisu was is that when I put it on, it blended le legit perfectly with my skin. It gave me like this, I don't need makeup kind of like coverage. You know what I mean? Like, like oh, she doesn't have makeup on kind of coverage. So I felt like, you know, at the end of the day, like with me, I don't really wear, if I'm gonna wear makeup, I'm gonna beat my face. Like there's no simple be. Like if I'm not wearing makeup, I'll just probably do a little concealer here and a little bit of, um, I'll do a little concealer here and a little bit of um, eyeshadow, I mean not eyeshadow, um, mascara. And then I'm good to go. Like I really don't need too much because you know shorty is pretty anyhow. And so I was like, you know what, let me go a shade down. It's just a little bit, just a little bit darker but it's not that noticeable. And I did that because I know that I'm going to do concealer, like you know, um, concealer, setting powder, contour, and all this other extra shit. And I'm just like, you know what? I don't want my makeup to be too bright. So let me try a little shade darker and let's see how that goes down. So I bought it in the color Sable. And I'm really excited to try it and see how this makeup comes out. So that is that on that. So while I was talking about this and I was testing it out, you know, the lady who was helping me in the store, she um, also suggested, because I told her, I was like, yeah, you know, I have like oily skin, so I really want to try out this new matte foundation. She was like, oh my God, they also have like this really good primer that you could get. And I was like, well, you know, like I said, listen, when I tell you like Urban Decay has... I will live and die by Urban Decay's matte setting spray, the oil D slick, as well as the all nighter face primer. So this stuff, when I tell y'all holy grail, child, it is the holy grail. Like I'm telling y'all, it is so good. This is the long wear foundation grip. Uh, it preps, smooths, and perfects. So basically like this will have your makeup set for life. Boy, when I tell you like this shit is popping, it is popping, like I love it. So. She suggested to me Smashbox. So now, I, I've heard of like Smashbox, Smashbox in the past and I didn't really use Smashbox products. But I was like, you know what? I ain't even mad. Like, I'm, I'm down to try. I'm down to try something new. I'm here over here buying red lipstick. Don't even like red. But I'm down to try something new. So she was like, no, for real. I'm telling you. Like, I thought she was just trying to like upsell me. And I'm like, oh girl and she was like no I'm telling you like this shit is legit she was like you know I had another customer come in and you know she had oily skin too and she used a little bit she tried to test her of it and she put it on her t-zone and it literally soaked up all of the oil and I was like hmm let me try it so she gave me a little bit and I put it on at the time I had like a little bit of oil because you know I was just moving and doing and your face gets a little oily so I put it on boom instant mattification like there was no more oil on my skin I was like this is bananas so I was like all right you got me <laughs> you got me because I'm a crackhead and yeah so you got me so this one is a photo finish oil and shine control. So I bought the mini because um, they didn't have any more of the bigger ones. But I'm not mad at that because I like to try the minis before I go full on. Because you don't know if you really like something. Now you got the big one and you're looking at it like I spent $40 for what? You know, I don't think it's $40. I forgot how much this was, but it was cheap. So this transformative cloud-like primer gently absorbs oil all day while reducing the look of pores time release technology controls oil and shine for up to 12 hours infused with witch hazel ciliac acid i could be saying that wrong correct me if i am and zinc weightless gel with a soft focus and silky smooth finish 
Helps makeup go on smoother and wear better. Oil free and non greasy. It is for combination to oily skin to so use smooth over clean and moisturized skin. Okay, with a teat. So this is it here. And I'm super uh, like hyped to try this out. This is gonna be great. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into a look. I'm about to try some of this stuff and I hope you guys like what I come up with. Stay
make sure y'all like comment and subscribe to my channel and don't forget to turn on those notification bells all the information y'all need is at the bottom and i can't wait to see y'all next time love you guys